have to use these cards to give them hints on who their character is. No! I'm wrong. All right, this is Dad's card. I wonder who I am. Oh, I know, it's this one. <laughs> and the ghost was... Welcome back to The YouTube Family! And today is Family Game Night! Guys, it's getting to be fall, y'all. Fall, y'all? Fall, y'all. And so we are going to play one of our favorite games headed into fall, which is Mysterio. So it's kind of like, it has to do with kind of spooky. I mean, not really. You're a detective and there's a ghost. That's as spooky as it gets. <laughs> but you are trying to guess like what the ghost or who the ghost is. Now, this is a great game to kick off the fall games because during the summer, we're normally pretty busy outside. So we don't play a lot of board games inside in the summertime. But once it starts to turn cold weather, we want to get back into those family game nights and we're kicking it off with Mysterium. Okay, this is how you play. I am actually the ghost. <laughs> Because I have this hidden board. No peeking. Just kidding. You can see. So I have this board that no one else can see. And there are four detectives in the house. Mom, Dad, Jake, and Ty. And I am the ghost in the manor. And uh, I assign people a character using these cards. These are the character cards. There's a bunch of different characters you can be. Everyone gets a character card. They also get a place card. So it could be outside in the pool. It could be in the kids room. Different places. And then there's also a like a weapon card. Which is kind of like Clue, right? You're it's kind of like it. The yeah. And the weapon. Except that all the detectives are trying to find their the own ghost. character, their own room, and their own weapon. Yeah. So like you're competing together and against everyone at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna randomly assign these and then I have to put the matching cards out here So whatever characters I put for them I put also out here and an extra to throw them off And then what they're trying to do is we have different rounds leading up to midnight That's why we have this little clock here and by the end of the night They should all be up here if you're not up here you automatically lose and To get up there you have to guess correctly your character your room your weapon and then you make it there by midnight. Uh-huh, and then at the end we'll explain what happens at the end Which later. isn't by midnight really, because really it only goes to Wait, what the heck? 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> by night time, by nightfall, okay? We need to be there by 7 o'clock, which, All right. yeah. I'm gonna put the characters, and I'll, I'll show you. Kia can't see though, because she's be cheating. Alright, the characters, places, and items have been chosen. Wait. This oh. is Jake's character. This is where the character is located and the item of choice. <laughs> this is dad's character, <laughs> dad's location, and dad's item. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry up and pick. This is me, this is the location, that's the item. If I was right. Imagine. Was he right? Here. All right, this is Ty, this is the location, and that is the item. And then this is Mom, and the location, and then the item. Everything was randomly selected. All right, so are you ready, contestants? So ready. Detectives, mm -hmm. now I have to use these cards to give them hints on who their character is. And these cards, guys, are so random. Like, look at this. <laughs> no, like, what have, even is that? I can only draw so many to pick from, and then if she wants to reshuffle and redraw, she has to use up the crow for that round, and that's the only time she can reshuffle. So each entire round, she only gets one shuffle. Being the ghost is the hardest part of this game. It really is. Because like, is this is such like a non-descriptive card. Like, how am I supposed to make this associate with any character? And we're playing on the easiest level, and if you guys know, this is kind of a game that's very similar to Dixit. So if you like yeah. the game Dixit, you'd probably love this game. All right, I was only allowed to draw six cards. So these are the cards I was given. And these are supposed to describe the characters. Are you kidding me? So I've already put them into their respective groups and I'm gonna hand them out to everyone and we'll see what they think if they can guess the correct character. And I want them to guess the correct character and I can't give them any clues. Like I can't speak the whole game. So I can't say like, oh, I chose this card because of blank, you know? Okay, this one is for Jake. 
And so you pick it based upon like uh, their yes. colors or shapes right. or a theme that might relate to our character, right? So it could be anything. We just have to figure out what it's you were thinking. Board, yep. It's All right. Person. And I'm gonna give this one to Ty. He can have two cards. I get two cards? I'm gonna give this what one this? to Ma. My hot air balloon? And I'm oh, giving oh. this one to Dad. I get two. That means okay. this is very difficult. Okay, so I am going to place my marker on this lady with the yarn because it, there's a round ball of orange and a round ball of orange, and that's simply it. That's the only reason. <laughs> so that's my guess. I already picked this before Audrey gave it to me. I'm gonna go with my gut feeling and go with that. What? I don't see how my cards relate to anything on here. Well, oh, so. nature. Nature. Bird person. Yeah, he's a hunter. And Golan outside. So All if right, Ty yes. also thought he was a hunter, he could place his marker on the hunter as well. You can have more than one person on there. I think I, oh, Ty, I has on there. I think Ty has gold. Ty has gold. There's a gold Jeweler. in his pocket. Or, yeah, that too. Yeah, but mm, there's you little belt. these little... I picked my. I picked so the this chef is because really so hard. Look at this one. There's a because so we don't know what me. Audrey picked on this card that represents my person, or because she gave me two. Maybe these two talk to each other and then point to that one. I have no idea. It's, mm, I think it'd it's, be it's best guess. I right think I'm gonna be the hunter. Okay, so now that everybody's placed, we're going to choose a check mark or a X marker and place it wherever we want. This is kind of like you're betting on whether the person guessed correctly or incorrectly. Correctly, what this does for you is it gives you points that you can move up in the elevator and it helps you score higher in the game. So we're gonna all bet. I'm going to, you place this one, I'm gonna bet yes for that one. And you can use as, everybody else. You can use as many markers as you want, but you only get them up till you don't get the markers back that you've used until after round three and the beginning of round four. So if you use up all your markers in the beginning, you gotta wait. Okay, to tell them if they're right or wrong, I do knocks on the table because I can't speak. So one knock is they got it right, two knocks is that they got it wrong. All right, you ready to see if you are right or wrong? Yep. Who wants to go first? Me. Oh. Katie, it was your character. Purple? No! I'm wrong. <laughs> Darn it. All right, what? tie, tie. Mm. So whoever voted yes doesn't get a move up on this. This is the points tracker up there. All right, Ty, what? you think you're this man? I hope. <laughs> well, yes! That means I'm wrong. Okay, so he goes. That means I get something right because I guess too. Because dad, wait, who did we do? They saw this right. Ty was right. I was wrong. Okay, so I was wrong. wrong. So Ty's guy goes here to the next. Level. Also, if dad was wrong, that means I got my thing, and I. What did I do with but this? Your thing marker goes up there. And okay. Jake, <laughs> you think you're. Ready to eat? You weren't. We were so wrong on all that. Dude. Okay. Now to shuffle six new cards, deal them out to all the players. I'm still trying to get everyone to guess their character, except now Ty moves on to the room. So I have to pick cards that helps Ty figure out the room, and cards that help everyone figure out who their character is at the same time. Okay, since Ty got that right, he puts his card that he guessed correctly that came off of the board here. He puts it inside his little card sleeve. He can now give these cards back to the psychic because he already guessed his people, so he'll put that in a discard pile by the psychic. Since Jake and I did not guess, and where's David? Did you not guess? Either? I guess the same as Jake Ty so much. So you start at the back again. So David, Jake, and I all keep our psychic cards because they can help us still in guessing the correct person. And Ty, because he guessed correctly on David's bet, he also went one up on the board. Okay, also because Ty also guessed, he gets to move his little token as many hours as left in the game. So we have one, two, three three, four, five, six hours left. So he gets to move up six spaces. And so he goes here till there. And then the clock changes for round two. So we're on round hour number two. Mm. Good job, Ty. You're way in the lead. The rest of us are clear at the very back. We're hurting. Back. We're hurting. Okay, this round was really bad. I even reshuffled and it's just a bad hand. But, okay, mom, here's yours. 
Oh my. They have the little orange circles yet again. There's little orange <laughs> dots. But this time I got a Grim Reaper dude. That doesn't help you. The only thing I can think of is a nun because she's wearing the black. Oh, cloth. and the lady in there is wearing black. The flying nun. Somewhere. Yeah, maybe it's a nun. Okay, maybe. I guess that's probably where I'm going to place it is the nun. Or you could be the old lady again because in one of the photos they're wearing black. Mm -hmm. This well, is for that. Because that's wrong. Okay. So what is yours? I got a stinking Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> but it does have blue on it, so maybe it's this blue cloak. It's kind of the same color. I was blue. thinking it was this person, but yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll go with the color. Wait, mom. I have no idea. This might be you because that's the Grim Reaper. And well, they're all kind of. That's a clockmaker. No, look, I'm saying that because. They're old. Yeah. <laughs> because they're old? <laughs> She's not dead yet. <laughs> all these people are old. That person's old. This lady's probably yeah, old. Yeah, I'm like. I think uh, yours probably. This yours? Is Jake. I think one of these two are yours actually. The oh, yay! Jake got a cannon and a shooting. Oh, my. And so this is the good thing is, is that once more people start guessing their character correctly, it narrows it down for you. Plus, you've already taken several guesses. So, hmm. hopefully. I wonder where this goes. So, so ties on location. He's trying to guess his room. I think it's outside. <laughs> There's only one outside. Yeah. I mean, it could easy. be. It could be. But if Ty guesses this game, like, so quickly, Wow. What are you guys saying? Okay, go ahead and guess. Oh, we gotta, we gotta say if we're right or wrong, right? Oh, wait, you guys still are still yeah. placing? I'm gonna say Jake is wrong. Well, I'm, I'm thinking I'm here. Okay. Blue. Time I'm gonna outside. say Ty is right. I'm gonna say Ty's right too, and I'm gonna say David's wrong, even though I helped him with that one, but I don't know. <laughs> if I'm not that, say that dude, I'm this person. I don't know. Okay, who do you want to start with? Me. David? Ratatouille. Oh, so I got a point. That helps no. me at least. I can go up one. Who's next? Me. I'll get the Christmas tree. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, I got a point. You're this person? <laughs> That's hey, I got that right. <laughs> so that was gonna be my second yarn. Drink. Oh, I did get it right. I got it right. Well, I'm. Let me. <laughs> Wait, if you used your marker, it still goes up here. Oh, Whether it does? it's right or wrong. Once you've used it, it goes up there. Okay. Okay, next, mom. Yep. Killing me. <laughs> Yay, I got mine right. Well, yeah. I know who I am. <laughs> that does make it easier. Process of elimination. I got two right. Tie. Ties is wrong, so we don't get any points if we guessed his. Oh my god. But our marker is still used up, so they go up here until after the third round, and we'll get them back. All right, this is Dad's card. I wonder who I am. Oh, I know, it's this one. <laughs> I'm definitely betting yes on his, because there's only two right, choices. Same here. And I've already picked the other one. picked the other, so that's a safe bet. Easy point. Easy point. This is Mom's guess. card. Oh, I have a chair. <laughs> snake charmer, okay? But there is a chair right here. That's a big clue. There's a chair there, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's a couple of chairs. There's, there's a, a stool. A snake, and there's animals over there. Okay. This is Jake's two cards. <laughs> oh, very dark and dreary. That could be the outside one. I wonder where I am. <laughs> just, just a curiosity. And these are Ty's cards. <laughs> What the? Okay, only what because we get all our tokens back after the next round, I'm gonna <laughs> vote no on tie. Jake and no on Ty. What is this? <laughs> I haven't even, even picked, picked what you're gonna write now. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I know, but I might as well just throw it down to see if I can get a vote. What's gonna be your move? Point. I am going to pick probably, if Jake's is that, I, mine might be the rocking chair. Right and I don't here. think it is. Yeah, and I don't think it is, Mom. I think I'm a war here. Ty, I very doubt yours as well. I'll say no to those too. Well, there's animals and basically all leaves. Okay, yeah. so yeah. we all lay down our votes. Odge. Yay! Dad. I get a point. Finally! Dad okay, so I move up one. Jake, you move up yep. one. Okay. And David moves up one, Finally. two, three, four. Finally, I have activity. Mom? I'm wrong. I move up. I move up. Red moves up one, yellow moves up one, and blue moves up one. Jake? I knew it! So Jake's is the yellow? No, or no blue. blue. The blue? I mean, yeah, the yellow. Okay, so Jake so picked right. He also moves up one, two, three, four. And then Ty. Yeah! I'm all the way at the end! And these all move up, okay. Alright, I'm, I'm taking up last place very well. Yes, you are in the back. Ready for the next round? Yeah! yeah. This one? 
is for Jake. Um, so Jake's on his weapon, so. Yes, teddy bear. <laughs> teddy bear. I don't see teddy bear there, Jake. So. I'm, I'm assuming that it's green because the background's green. And there's two that are green. I know. <laughs> Jake kind of pulled ahead. He's in the lead, and we'll show you what this means in the end because he's still like, it just helps him in the game by being ahead. This one is for David. <laughs> Oh, nice. The pocket. Oh, that's easy, Dad. Oh, Let's see. The one that the I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. He's doing the little animals one that I guessed last time with the chair. Oh. This one is for Mom. I mean, a music box. This is definitely, I am this music yeah. room. <laughs> definitely guessing the music What's room. What's mine? And we'll these see. are for Tad. These? Okay, so he's got a net hammock above a house and some trees and a castle and clouds. I don't need the cords. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guessing that? Oh, because of the night? No, because the the books. It's all different. <laughs> There's nothing away. Books clues. are all unique. I was like, how do you get books out of that? Well, because clues. they're all different. Yeah, I mean, that no makes way. sense. It's books on oh, fairy tale, no, I, I guess. I'm gonna so, guess a random one. I'm gonna guess two. Let's go say you all. No to Jake and no to Ty. First no, yes to Ty. Oh, you this is me. yes, this is yes, and this is yes. And yes Wait, and who's with Wait, this one? I don't one? even need points. Ty's? Ty with his bookcase Ties. analogy. I'm gonna guess no on his bookcase just <laughs> to do it. And no on yours, Jake. Okay. Okay, okay. Jake! Oh. Oh. Okay, so yeah. cool. okay, there's only one option left. Do David? David! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Well, I got a point. Okay, so blue, we get a point. Purple and yellow. Okay. Blue's on 14. Ty. Ty, who used to be the leader. Ooh, oh, he did correct. it. So Good Ty job, Ty. So blue and red. I'm, hey, I'm making it up there. And mom. <laughs> oh, oh right. we all made it. Okay, I got another okay. point. That was a good round. Holy cow. So the goal is yeah. we all want to get up to the top because if we don't and time runs out, then the ghost wins. Yeah, we all want to get oh, wow. the top up here. Okay. This one is for Dubby. Bicycle. Bicycle. Flying by balloons. Okay, a bicycle is not a weapon. <laughs> it's weightless, ta a dad. But it's weightless. a chim chimney, chim chimney sweeper. There is no sweeper. It's a hammer. It doesn't sweep anything either. This is going to be a complete <laughs> mess. <laughs> Wait, dad, yeah, maybe the To be fair, dad didn't get the worst card. <laughs> he got the last pick. Oh, <laughs> this is the worst. It's weightless. Maybe you should wait till everyone else gets their cards. Okay, yeah. okay this weightless. one is for Jay. <laughs> what is that? Statue? Uh, for interpretation. <laughs> Statues or something? Okay. Yeah, I wonder what. It it's green also, and he's already guessed that green, so he could guess the green ironing board, but I don't want to see. leave him astray. Hmm. <laughs> it could also be chiseling with a hammer. That's what know. I'm seeing. Okay, next. <laughs> this one's mom's. I got a lion with a lady on a boat looking through a telescope and some little dudes down below. Okay. <laughs> These are ties. Two. I guess two again. He gets all the tools. <laughs> I think his is this shaver thing, because look at that. That looks just like it. Wait, this is a tool thing. It is and a tool thing, though. So I picked the hammer because this kind of looks like he's carrying a hammer, a big one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I his has be. a tool shed. His could literally be the hammer. It could be. Yeah, it is the hammer. Mm. I kind of the you hammer. can guess the hammer. I'm picking the hammer. I'm guessing Dad's wrong. So how this works when two people are on it? You point your little token towards the person that you think is right or wrong. Because I am going to guess Ty is correct and David is wrong. <laughs> that was a lot of wrongs against Jake. <laughs> You said the iron, why? Because it's the only one that's green. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's green. I'm going to guess you're correct, even though I don't know about that. Mine... Uh, I think it's either one of these or I think the background. Because if it's a wooden boat, literally, that's all I'm going with. It's this wooden box. I'm going to pick nope, because that's something nope. I can <laughs> say nope. And I might as well say I'll keep this nope. <laughs> okay, yeah. ready? Mom is... What? Who don't it's a pirate chest! I mean, it's a pirate boat! Yeah, that makes sense. Pirate Are you chest. kidding me? See? That's all I have left. Okay, so Katie's the first. Yay, I made it up to the safe zone. Me next. Okay. Jake is. Uh, Jake made it. We're doing really good because we're not even Did you read Dad? Did Dad first, Dad. Dad is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Voting on these tokens don't even matter because we're all literally here at the end. Okay. So. And Ty is. 
Oh. David is the last one. Luckily, There's time. he can still keep playing another round. We don't do anything but wait for David on this next <laughs> round. I just have to give him a good card. Just give him everything. No, and you're supposed to take these, right? And don't forget that you can use your radius. Yes. When you guess correctly, you do take the card from each of the things and you place it into your sleeve. All right, so basically I'm playing the rest of the game by myself. myself. Until you guess the weapon, which there's okay. only two, so come on. If you don't get Dead. it this time. So we pretty much don't need these okay. tokens. You if you do it have many tokens, you can use them. But we've all guessed to the end, so we all... What this means is... Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Never mind. Stay tuned. Okay, hey, Dad. These yeah. are your cards. Aww. Dark, scary eyes and some gear. I know what it is, yeah. I think obvious. I know what it is. All right, let's go with the weight. Because of the dark, scary eyes. What is oh, it? Just one second. Let me place my. <sighs> Audrey, am I right? Yay! Yeah! Okay, David made it in the nick of time. <laughs> really, he still had plenty of time. I had one more turn, which there was only one option left, so I would have made it regardless. Okay, so now we hand in our cards to Audrey that has our psychic things in them. We're going to take our little token <gasps> markers, put that to our number. Yes! So she can decide, see, oh, and then we're going to, she's going to pick a ghost amongst us, so it'll be one of the three, and she's going to lay out some cards here, and we get to look at all three cards because we all made it up above the seven, so we get to see all three cards before we take our guess on who is the ghost. Now, if you only made it up to between the five and the seven, you would get to see two cards, and if you made it zero to five, you only get to see one card before you make your guess of the final ghost. Okay, I just realized as Audrey was doing this that we actually keep these. She just dealt six cards of her second cards that she gets to choose three cards from because, yeah, there's, because we all made it. So she's going to choose three psychic cards and we're going to use our clues to guess the person, the weapon, and the room. And it will be all one packet. So hey. if she could choose three cards that would even give just the character, we would know everything else. Because yep. you're just yeah. guessing one of us. Okay, Audrey's picking out her three cards. She's going to lay them down for us, I think. Okay. I just saw nine cards get shipped. Wait, you, everyone gets to see the three cards? Cards? Yeah, we, yeah all we all made it. So we get to three, see three clues, which normally when we play this game, I don't know if we did it different this time, but normally most people only get to see one card and then a couple or maybe one person gets to see two and one gets to see the three cards. That's not how it's going. This time we all get to see all three cards. Unless we were to say the last person to arrive would only get to see one. The next person, but I think we'll just do it. Everybody gets all three and then vote. So flip them over. Flip so them over. Our first clue is oh yellow tic-tac-toe, a barn. Something. I'm gonna turn this way so the camera can see. Okay, so we have tic-tac-toe in the sand, a the creepy crown. barn, Are we and able? a floating bed. And so now we have to guess, is it this person, the clockmaker? Is it the lady yarning? Is it the hunter? Or is it the nun? And so what we do is we take our token and we place it in well, there's front a of bed in the bedroom. It is. This one's not easy because those are horrible cards. Well, is it easy I know, for mine you to see? Mine was good! Wait, yeah, Jay, hers is music. music. You guess where you want to guess. Mm. And then her, his house has those beds. And Mine. there's orange and a lot of orange. Yours is dark blue. Wait, this one has a bed. I'm going with me. I can pick sheet. myself. <laughs> oh, so yeah, you. you can pick it wherever. Okay. I don't know where to go. Um, I kind of want to go with me. It's dark and scary. <laughs> and the gold gear. But then he has a bed there. And for that, that, that is where, where who has, has a bed where? He is. He has the bedroom, right? Is that his bedroom? Bedroom. But I have the music. Oh, the there's music <laughs> here. But bedroom. then I have the three. Right. There's a reason why I picked tie. Why a memory would be. Hey. Really trying. There's a timer. Yes, we have to pick me before the time's up. Okay, I'm gonna do it with me. I picked this because this one's Jake, weightless. You pick or you and pick that's it? weightless. You pick Ty. Ty, you gotta pick someone. Nobody thinks it's Jake. But so if I oh. pick myself and we, I get it right, does that mean I win then as well? Then whoever picked you won. Yeah. So oh. you and Jake are win. Okay, I guess right. that's it. Okay, yeah, two votes for Katie, one vote for Ty, one vote wait, for Dan. No, no wait, just Jake. a second. Wait. I'm whoever confused. you vote for, and okay. if that's the correct ghost, then you would win. It's so me. if this is the one, and you put your token there, you would win. <laughs> Shed okay. Okay. dreams. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely me. And the ghost was... Yes, please. <laughs> All I can get is this 
connection right there. This maybe because it's dark and that because it's exactly. beach of the treasure. Pirate ship, oh, beach, oh my gosh. pirate box. I the dream. nun just looks kind of creepy. Black and black. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. The colors. And then and music. That's kind of what I based it off was those Started two things. Yeah. I didn't know if that would work, but I was oh, like, well, it kind of fits. G -G. I thought it was Ty fun. because this was his library room. This was my library room. No, was the hammer. Okay. Yeah. And this was the yellow, the hunter thing. Remember in the first Yay. round? Hunter doesn't mm -hmm. go with that. This. Was pretty fun for family game night. Kind of a little spooky vibe because you know it's like clue detective, but it's not really spooky. But it's a fun way to get back into the next games time. in the fall. Anyway, if you guys have games that we should play, suggest it down below. And maybe for our next family game night, we'll play the game you suggest. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.